my vlog. It's Katie B. Karen. I know in my previous vlog, I've shown you a little bit about Seeger Wheeler. I've shown you like the laundry room. I've shown you um, like the lounges. I've shown you the basement um, and also like the public toilets. I've shown you everything, but there were so many people who were asking me then what about the interior part of Seeger Wheeler? What does that look like? And I was telling you how there was privacy concerns. Um, but eventually I was able to find an apartment uh, that I could potentially show you and I hope that by the end of it you'll be able to get a better idea of what the interior design of Seeger Wheeler looks like um, and I hope that in the comment section below you can tell me if that's really helped you. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in particular about Seeger Wheeler. Um, I will spend some time to show you the interior of College Quarter if that's possible as well. But for the meantime, I want to focus on Seeger. Now, if you hadn't had a chance to subscribe to my YouTube channel, be sure to do that as well. That would be K2B Karen. Um, also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, be sure to do that as well. My Instagram handle would be Shruti underscore KX. And that is the username. You can see it over here as well. You would be able to find a URL to my Instagram handle in the description below. So if that's something you're looking out for, be sure to, be sure to do that as well. Now let's get started. Buddy, so as soon as you enter Seeger, this is the view that you'll get. Every room is different, so there is different um, layouts to different rooms. Um, when you enter, so this is basically the door, and when you enter, you're going to see the kitchen. The kitchen has a lot of cabinets, drawers, there is an oven which is provided to you. However, um, the supplies like the kitchen utensils and everything, that's something you need to supply to yourself. Um, we have a lot of detergent powders that you need to buy and purchase yourself. Um, however, the rubbish bin cans will be given to you, but you need to buy the rubbish um, bags yourself. This is our table, my friend's table, and this is the freezer. So every room, every apartment would be able to have a freezer and you would be able to have a refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit towards it. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. Um, this is the exhaust fan that you should always be using in order to make sure you don't get fire alarms. This is our stove. You need to purchase the pots, the pans, um, the kettles, the utensils, everything that you see on this table is purchased. Um, the oven, I believe, is also purchased, but I'm not sure because I think it depends on what apartment you're living in. Um, this is basically the refrigerator, so they have the freezer on the top and the refrigerator at the bottom. This is basically a very nice, decent living room, so they provide you with sofas, a very decent table. Um, there's a lamp as well, and that's the sofa. So here, this is the heating system. They have a lot of electrical appliances as well. From the outer view, again, it depends what direction your apartment is. This is my friend's um, outer view. So there is a nice net towards it to ensure that there's no insects coming into the apartment, uh, but you can get a very nice outlook view of the area. Again, this is double window. So if you want less cold, you have to push this down and you have to push this down. Um, my friends opened everything because it's a bit too hot. So we want more better ventilation coming through. All right, everybody. So after looking into the kitchen, I'm gonna take you inside here. So this is basically a door for an extra protection. Uh, when you go through the corridor, you're going to see different room numbers. So we have different rooms. This is going to be the washroom. So I'm just going to take you in very quickly. This is how the washroom looks like. So they provide you with two sinks. This is me, myself, and uh, yeah, so this is basically the shower. Um, that's that's basically the tub, and you can use the shower on the top, or you have a shower over there. Um, and the toilets are provided too. But for hygiene purposes, I am not going to be viewing the washroom in detail. So we have about six rooms in Seeger. So um, there are in total there are six rooms, and at the end of the sixth room, you're going to see a storage room. So I'm just gonna take you through there. Keep. So I'm just gonna turn on the light really quickly. So this is the storage room. Um, 
This is the storage of, so this is a back door of another room, technically. Um, so what really happens here is the storage, you can keep your stuff in here. I'm not going to record um, people's storage stuff, but the idea is that you've got your room number here. So this is your room unit. This is the room number you're living in. And then you're going to place your stuff inside and then you're going to put a lock on it, which is very important. So this is how the view looks like. There is in total six, six uh, nice, I would say, cages, not cages, but like they look like cages. Um, if you're someone who needs a vacuum cleaner, it's always here. So you just have to make sure you take the vacuum cleaner and you very neatly place it back. So now I'm gonna turn off the lights because we don't wanna waste electricity. And then when you're done, just to ensure there is security, going to close that door and we're going to latch it okay there we go so we've latched the door and this is basically how the view looks like this is basically the six rooms and the overall logistics of what Seager Wheeler looks like just a quick note that this door is able to close so if you want to close this door you can always do that there are lights as well so if you want to turn off the lights of the corridor that works uh, with the help of these light switches every room would have their own wi-fi i will not be specifically going to people's room because i think that's privacy concerns all right everybody so due to privacy concerns i'm not going to go inside a specific person's room of course but i wanted you to have a basic idea of what really this looks like and i think uh, by me really going through the entire apartment, I think you should be able to get a very decent understanding of what's really being shown. Um, I hope that you would be able to better understand uh, what the apartment looks like, and I hope that it's given you some insights of what really goes through. As I said, when you enter, that's the door, you're going to see the living room, you're going to see the kitchen, and then you're going to see a corridor of rooms, and this is the... Um, the rack where you can put in your clothes uh, but because we have my friend has a rubbish bin over there so we don't really tend to hang our clothes there but if you don't put your rubbish bin there of course you can hang your clothes there but yeah this was the idea um, just a very quick note that this particular apartment has carpets on it there are um, apartments on the first floor and also some I would say on the 10th and 11th floor that does not have carpet so you have tiles um, I think it depends on personal preferences if you're a person who wants to have um, tiles or if you want to have carpets if you know because some people they prefer not to have carpets because they tend to have they have a tendency to believe that carpets is very dirty uh, whereas some people they don't like tiles because you can technically see the mess on the floor and also there is the reflection of the light on the tiles that can you know affect uh, when you close the door and you can see the reflection of the light but yeah I think it's all down to personal preferences um, really what you like and also sometimes you don't have an option because you know you get your time slot for residence really late and you don't have an option to choose really what unit you want to go to but if you're choosing your building at least you should be able to now understand what a proper Seager Wheeler apartment looks like. I really do hope that this was of some help to you. Um, if it was, be sure to let me know in the comment section below if there is any other specific residence that you want me to record. Um, feel free to let me know on Instagram. You can always message me on Instagram with any concerns that you have and I usually would be able to reply and I'm more than happy to do so. Um, and if there is something that you don't really wanna go um, into a conversation and you just want to have a basic general overview about something, you can just mention it in the comment section below and usually I'd be able to have a read through it. So yeah, I really hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. And yeah, that's it for me for today and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.